This is code.org. Let's see. The painter is supposed to navigate to the traffic cone, but the program program is not working as intended. Find and fix the errors. Okay, let's see what breaks. Ooh, oh yeah, we're definitely, okay. Uh, find and fix the errors in the program to help the painter navigate the winding path. So definitely turning around here. Hmm. Let's see, so here's our Painter Plus class, and notice that we're running each time, move south, turn east, turn right, is run here, okay? Move south, turn east, and let's see, never goes, in goes up, eat east. Okay, so move south, go, turn east would make sense. So I'm gonna go there first. Move south, turn east. So while, or as long as, the Painter is facing south, if you can move, move, and we do that, okay, if can move east, turn left. Oh, interesting. And so what's going to happen here, let's talk about this, this is going to loop, right? So everything from here to here uh, is in this loop. So everything in this method, other than obviously the method itself, is in a loop, as long as I am facing south. Well, I start, I turn, and then I'm facing this way, right? And so I'm facing south all the way till I get to here. So what happens? Wall is facing south. Well, that would be true on step one. If I can move, certainly I can move. Look at all this space. So that is also true. Since that is true, I must move forward one. Plop. And then it goes next. If I can move east. Well, I can't move east. I'd run into this brick thing, and that would hurt. So I'm not going to get hurt. So that's cool. Since this is false and I can't move east, the code inside of it does not run. Hit the bottom, hit the bottom of our loop, have to check again. If I am facing south, well, yeah, I'm standing here. I would still be facing south, so this is true. So we go into the loop again. If I can move, yes, I can move. Look at all this space. So I, it, that is true. Drop in, I move forward one. I'm now here. If I can move east, nope, can't move east, still break. That's going to keep repeating until I end up way down here. Once I'm way down here, right, I says, if I can move, I move forward from here to here, plop. If I can move east, turn left. Well, can I move east? Yep, empty east. Cool. So I turn left, and now I am facing this way. I hit the bottom of my loop, go back to the top. Wall is facing south. I'm no longer facing south, so this is false, and so I'm done with that method. Now, what do I do in my code? Okay, after I'm done with this method, move east, turn north. Move east, turn north. Okay, let's find that. Move east, turn north. So if I wall is facing north, I'm not facing north. Move east. Oh, move north. Whoops. Move east, turn north. If I am facing east, if you can move north, which I could, turn left. Well, this is open, so I'm just going to keep turning left as long as I can move north. So, am I facing east? I currently would be, so I make a left. I am now facing north. I hit the bottom, go back to the top. Am I facing east? No, that would be false. Well, now I'm facing the wrong way. So, that's going to be problem one. What runs after that? Move north, turn east. Well, I do move north, so that looks like it's okay. Yes. So, what is missing from move east, turn north. Well, look at all these others. They provide a good example. So prior to if you can move north, right? Look at it, if you can move south. We want to do if, if can move, right? Because first we want to move, and then we're going to check if we can eventually uh, go, turn left to go north. So at first, I'm moving east. If I can move, move, right? As long as I can move while I am facing east, I want to move. And then I can check if I can go north. Let's try now. Perfect. pa -da! So we just want to make sure that we have the correct um, steps and have them in order. Cool. Looking good. Onward.